We can all agree that, thanks to radio, we can listen to music virtually anywhere, at any time. However, did you know were it not for radio, we would not have the technology to even create the music we listen to every day? Radio, by definition, is a transmission of signals by modulation of electromagnetic waves with frequencies below those of visible light. When radio waves pass an electrical conductor, they induce an alternating current in the conductor, which can be detected and transformed into sound by your radio receiver. After its development in the 1890s, people found various uses for radio technology, sending telegraphic messages in Morse code, radar, television, and especially to broadcast music. There were others who used this technology to actually create music. Russian inventor Leon Theremin patented his instrument, which also happens to be named the Theremin, in 1917. The sounds were controlled by two metal antennas, which would sense the position of a player's hands and control radio frequency oscillators for frequency with one hand and volume with the other. The electric signals that are produced are amplified and sent to a loudspeaker. You've probably heard the theremin in an old science fiction movie. In 1928, Maurice Martineau developed an instrument that used similar technology. His own Martineau sounded a lot like the Terramin, but had a keyboard for playing definite pitches and other controls that allowed for expanded techniques and timbres, giving the performer much more control. It wasn't until 1968 when Walter Carlos, now Wendy Carlos, popularized music of Johann Sebastian Bach by playing it on a Moog synthesizer, uh, making it a popular electronic instrument. Much like other earlier electronic instruments, a synthesizer generates and combines signals of different frequencies to produce its sound. It further developed through the 1970s and 80s, becoming self-contained, portable, modestly priced, and soon incorporated MIDI, or Musical Instrument Digital Interface, to later appear in the 1990s and 2000s without the hardware, and only as computer software. It was not long after the development of the multi-touch and tangible user interface technology that these advancements were used in the creation of electroacoustical instruments. An example of this technology is the React Table, a collaborative electric music instrument which utilizes a translucent tabletop multi-touch interface, allowing several simultaneous performers to share complete control over the instrument by moving tangible physical objects that represent components of a classical modular synthesizer, like the Moog, for example. By physically manipulating these objects, performers adjust different characteristics of the sound, while a projector beneath the table draws dynamic animated feedback of the state, the activity, and the main characteristics of the sounds produced by the audio um, synthesizer. Portable devices such as the iPhone, which also utilize multi-touch technology, not only receives digital phone signals via radio waves, but also runs third-party software applications that emulate the theremin and music synthesizers.